Hello everybody, welcome back to another Combat Comms episode. Uh, this time we are taking a look at Ignis versus God Orochi. Now, uh, recent, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys, uh, the next Not Boss Rage is one of these fools. Uh, I'm not saying which though. <laughs> so, anyway, um, basically I'm gonna try something new this episode because... For the past few episodes, it's just been me, you know, blabbing my mouth off while the video was going off in the background, and it seemed kind of distracting. So, basically, after every round passes, I'm going to pause and reflect and see what kind of dumb horseshit awaits. Looking at this character select screen, though, is just... What what even? Especially when he moves the window out of the way. So, let's, let's take a crack at this roster real quick. Yeah, okay, so there's Ignis and all his glory. So we've got basically some KOF fools up here, you know, and then I'm, it starts to delve into more obscure SNK stuff, and then Kintaro is there twice for some reason. Fernandez, we've seen Fernandez already. Uh, I don't know if this also was, if they used him along with Onslaught, I guess if he's this big glitchy thing, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I see good old General over there, and he's... And he's kind of triggering me with his presence, but whatever. Uh, even Psyche's chilling, you know, human Psyche. And I'm like, he's not that hard, though. Or maybe it's that Dark Ash instead. Yeah, I think it's Dark Ash. I'm an idiot. Anyway, so let's see these two. Ooh, this gene Ooh, these generic Mugen sounds. At least mine is somewhat original in its sound effects. Okay. Let's see. So we've got these two. I'm liking this background. Okay, that, that's a pose if I ever saw one. So, Orochi is gonna play the Rage game, so Igmiz immediately takes notice to that. Wow, these two are playing hard defense. Alright, Igmiz. Alright, once Igmiz gets in. <laughs> yeah, once Igmiz gets in, you're done. <laughs> you're pretty much done. Because. Like, like, almost everything he has, well, I mean, it's not, like, general complex where, like, he's safe on everything, but it's, like, god dang can Ignis be safe on a lot of things. I don't know. He was just, that, that combo did a ludicrous amount of damage. Anyway, let us proceed. Dead. Alright. On two! There you go. Ooh, that teleport, though. That did... Alright, Orochi is doing a bit of damage. Wow, Orochi is getting that damage. <laughs> Seizure warning? Seizure warning. Seizure warning. Wow, that perfect. That was in fact a perfect. Uh, did I, do I mention? Let's just like let, let's look at these scenes frame by frame, okay? Like let's let's go back, okay? So that warp back was amazing. Like, that's how, that's how you trick an Ignis, is by teleporting. T teleporting is a real good. Then, you... Oh, no, I don't want to... I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. There you go. But anyway, guess that air juggle. And Ignis still can't respond. But then he gets assaulted with the these thingies. And then just Gallic gun out of nowhere. Leaves him on a few HP. And then this rush attack kills him. Wow. My mouse is not working today. But what a round, though. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's proceed. <laughs> what is this Ignis? What is it? He can do 50% of your health in one stroke. What even? <laughs> he prays to God that that didn't land. Orochi has got to play such hard defense, it hurts. Okay, okay, just as long as he doesn't get hit once. Alright, screen, screen nuke. Orochi is playing the defense. Okay, you survived that. Okay, Orochi has health regen. Ignis doesn't. But it doesn't matter anyway, so Ignis still gets the kill. Yeah, the only way Orochi was gonna make any of that count was by playing the hardest defense on the in the freaking universe. Like, what what even are you supposed to do against Ignis apart from 
you know, just sit back and pray that he doesn't kill you. I'm going to disconnect my guitar because I don't need that in there anymore. There we go. All right, let's proceed. God dang it. I have some water, just in case I need it. Okay, throwing balls everywhere. Okay, does this do any damage? Okay, he's got half health on him. That's one uppercut. One uppercut does almost about a quarter of your life. That is crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, shut down with the few supers. That's absolute insanity. Like, that super... I don't think it's that busted in the original game. Is it that busted in the original? There's no way it could be. Like, it's certain health bars reflect different damage values, but it's like... I don't know. I remember playing KOF 2001 and getting the Ignis, and... I don't remember his... I remember him doing a lot of damage, but not that much damage. Not, like, Phil Swift levels of damage. Okay. God, come on! Alright, whatever. I'm not an expert with this new setup. Why did YouTube have to change its screen around? Okay, stupid screen size edit. Alright, Gallant Gun. What? You know, you know what? Okay, there you go. He has a 50% health move, so never mind. Ignis is not special anymore. But, I mean... The attack is Gallic Gun. How do I not like it? It's probably not exactly Gallic Gun, but who cares? I, come on! I clicked on the video! I, I should just use my mouse, always. Orochi gives no fucks. The only way Ignis could make this come back is by using supers, but he didn't do it. Well, okay then. That was a definite, definite sweep by Orochi there. Alright, there you go. Can he mount the comeback? He only has two more rounds to win. No, he almost loses about half health. But okay, he's got this juggle. Lost juggle, but whatever. He's going for air juggles. He's going... I bet that attack would do a lot even on chip. There you go, Rochi's got these air juggles for days. That's Ignis for you. <laughs> Hold on! There's no way, that's cheese as hell. That is cheese, am I? Oh, I can move the window with my arrows. Great. There, that's probably better. Probably better, you're not triggered now. There you go. Let, let's run that back. Run that back. So gets a Shoryu, whips him in the air, does more whips, and then for the final hit, just whacks the cape. <laughs> I mean, honestly, who else but Ignis? This guy. This man. Like, honestly, what other games could he possibly... <laughs> What other characters could he possibly dethrone? I don't know. Uh, I You know what? That might just be the next episode. Uh, I might just end up booting up Red and just seeing how many characters in that roster he can take out that are, like, on his level, bruh. But I don't have this Ignis, which I'm probably gonna... I don't... Fuck. Uh, well, actually... Oh, that doesn't matter. Uh, I could just go with... I honestly, I don't know if I want to do a red version 2.0. Question for all of you to close out this episode. Should I or should I not make a red version 2.0? Because I really want to do that. Because some of the characters in that are either not source accurate or just are total garbage. So, I don't know. Maybe I would want to do a red 2.0 using your guys' suggestions. But, I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.